Hello everyone. Okay, let's get to the video. I'm not gonna waste your time. So the New York Times says that if you own an Apple product, you should update now. Yes, right now. I'm not saying you shouldn't update your phone. Go update your phone if you haven't done that. We're back at it again, and we have yet another security vulnerability being exploited in the wild. This time it's a zero click by NSO. And now I'm gonna catch all of you up who don't know what any of that means. So what did I just say? Basically, NSO is a company. You pay them a ton of money. They will hack a dude's phone for you. Anyways, so what, what is this new bug? This new bug, basically, they, te they, they, so they send you a text message with like a GIF in it, but the GIF is not a GIF, it is actually a PDF. And then your iPhone's gonna be like, hey, I, I, think, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think that's a PDF. I'm gonna try to parse this PDF. I'm gonna try to open up this PDF just to see what the, what the inside looks like. Maybe for like to make a preview or something, who knows? And then, but, but it's, not, it's not a good PDF, it's a very bad PDF. It's a very bad PDF. So when your phone tries to open this PDF, now, now your phone is like, oh shit, this, this PDF, it's no good. It exploits a bug in the PDF parser. Now your phone has NSO's code executing on it because it's like the exploit, right? It's like a bad PDF, okay? So it's like the PDF is infected. Now, now your phone has got NSO's code running on it. And that's the bug. That's basically the zero click vulnerability. Why is it called zero click? Because you don't have to click on the PDF. They just send you a text message and you're and you're owned that's basically it that's a zero click vulnerability very scary just text anyone get their phone number text them oh now you're now now that phone's hacked it's like some watchdog shit right yeah so very bad very bad we don't want to have these zero click vulnerabilities you know out there in the wild for people to exploit very very bad kind of bug these are the most dangerous the most powerful and the most expensive bug on the market if you go to zerodium's website let me go to let me, let me go to zerodium you go to their payout schedule bounty here here we go Android full chain with persistence or iOS full chain with persistence are like a millions of dollars. So very expensive, very powerful. This is everyone's favorite. So th that's why, you know, Apple really wants to squash this bugs. They patch it. They're really motivated to patch this bug. And NSO is really motivated to acquire more of these bugs. Yeah, you know, killing this, killing this bug, it's probably, probably very good. It's, I, I would say this is a victory for the, for the good guys, right? And then uh, it's very controversial business, so on, so on, so on, and so forth. But the question is, is what impact does patching this bug have in the grand scheme of things? And how does this affect me as a normal person? How does NSO Group's you know business affect me? Okay, so what's going on here? Ah, well, the thing is, is that you know patching this one bug. Oh, hold on, I'm in the way. Patching this one bug is not gonna is not gonna fix the the core problem. The core problem is, is that there are just security holes everywhere in modern software. Wow. Because software is just fucking complicated. And it's just impossible to get everything right. Um, that's just the way it is. It's not Apple's fault. It's not Microsoft's fault. It's not anyone's fault. It's just that this software is really fucking complicated. There's a million moving parts. And at some point, someone's going to make an honest mistake it's going to pass code review, it's going to just fly by and go under the radar and it's going to get shipped and there's going to be that bug in production. And this is going to happen whether you like it or not unless you systematically change things up by like rewriting the whole operating system in Rust or some shit like that. It's never going to happen by the way. If you take out 10,000 lines of C++, you're going to add 100,000 lines more. Because guess what? Every year, every year they got to make, they got to ship a new phone because the, the stock price got to go up. So they're going to ship a new phone. And ship a new phone, we've got to have new features. New features means more code. More code means more bugs. So we're always going to have more bugs for the for foreseeable future. Okay, so more bugs. Anyways, I went off on a tangent. You patch one exploit. NSO has like probably 10 more. It's like a freaking car to these guys. You know, you just, oh, they, they killed that bug. Okay, swap out that bug. Put this new one in. We're good to go. Business is not affected. And then they're back in business. Good to go. It's not like your phone went from being, oh, it's, it's not secure, and now it is secure. It's more like there was this bug that we knew existed, and now it doesn't exist anymore. There are all the bugs that maybe we don't know about that are being traded on the black market or through offensive security companies or through brokers, to whatever, to governments, to NSO group, and so on. And there's all these exploits we don't know about that are still out there, just floating around. Are they gonna get used on you? Probably not. So, so as a normal person, how will this affect me? How will this affect me as a normal person? And the thing is, it will not affect you probably. If you look at if you look at the New York Times article, um, what was their what was their client? Fifty thousand phone numbers 
So they, they, it's like 50,000 in that kind of ballpark kind of number of targets out of 7 billion people. You're probably not one of those 50,000 really interesting people like uh, soda activists. You'll probably not be targeted by NSO. You're probably just like some random dude who just plays Fortnite. Or I don't know. I don't know what kids do these days. I'm really detached from reality. I go outside once a week. My job is fully remote. I'm actually on vacation right now. So, yeah. Anyways, so you're probably not affected. Does this mean that security doesn't matter? Does this mean that we should let NSO just go about? No. But I think that, at least for ordinary people, they shouldn't be afraid. But then again, I feel like if NSO didn't exist, if you're, if you're a voting rights activist in the Emirates, Eh, chances are eh, you got a lower life expectancy than everyone else. Uh, uh, this, what, how do I? Feel? What is this situation like? It's 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 not it's not the best. It's not the best, but it's not it's not earth shattering either. I think it's pretty funny because it's like um you know in the movies they're like oh we're gonna hack his phone and then you really can't just hack his phone. You just have to have a lot of money to do it or like a dedicated team of like no life sec security researchers like me. So yeah, security. At Apple, they're trying to patch all the bugs. They will never get around to all the bugs because software is just completely fucked. Why does my Windows crash? Um, I don't know. Bugs, Lamau. But there's always gonna be bugs. We're, we're fucked. We're fucked. But we should we should not give up. We should not give up the fight. Gotta keep fighting. Keep fighting. Maybe one day we'll quash all the bugs. Now we're not. We're not. We're not quash. Nah. But we we should we should fight the good fight. Yeah. Patch the phones, yeah. Update your phone. Update your phone, goddammit.